How are we doing? Welcome back to the workbench. Today we're going to look at my new excavator. Uh, you guys probably saw the video of my Diecast Masters 336, which is kind of the plastic, not super capable, but still a lot of fun uh, excavator. But I wanted something a little more capable and affordable, if that makes sense. Capable yet affordable. Check it out. This is also Diecast Masters, but it is their all metal scale replica of the 330DL. Uh, licensed product, um, not hydraulic. It still works off like metal worm gears in here and a big metal gear uh, for the main arm. Uh, metal tracks, um, I don't know, just, just way more capable and way cooler. So, we got full function. And then no more of that annoying click when it, you hit limit switches, uh, when you get to the end of the end of the function and it doesn't just click 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 it just stops to prevent wear so super cool um it is multi-function you can do all kinds of stuff at once And so, I don't know, I'm pretty pumped. It's not, let me grab the small one. So this isn't huge, this is 1 20th scale. And then my previous plastic one is 1 24th. So you've got 1 24th of a 336 plastic and then 1 20th of a 330D. And so comparably, you can kind of get a good idea there. This isn't a huge excavator. I said affordable earlier, it's not hydraulic. It's electric and much more affordable. Um, I got a good deal on this. Um, I'm not, that's all I'm gonna say. I got a good deal on this. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Full spin. It does have a power port right here. I don't know, maybe in the future they will add some different attachments or something. Not all these buttons do things either. Uh, these run the tracks. These run your booms and bucket and cab. This is your... See the lights coming on? Lights and sounds.
And then obviously it makes the squeaks and all that stuff when the sounds are on. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this quick. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I'll show you this too. Um, let me turn it off here. So, the battery tray is in this compartment here. And this is the stock battery that comes with the unit. It's a 2S LiPo, 2000 milliamp hour. Um, it'll give you about an hour, which is, which is pretty cool when you're just playing in the dirt or the rocks or whatever. But I went ahead and jumped online and ordered a couple of these 2200 milliamp hour 2S Z batteries with an XT60 connector. So what I can do then is take this little adapter, which is XT30 to XT60, plug the XT60 in like so, and then let me move over here where you can get a good look. Uh, this had a Another compartment, it's right here. Whoops. Um, which doesn't do anything right now. I, again, maybe there'll be an add-on or something that would go in here. And this was just a cover here, making this battery tray only that big for the stock battery. Well, that wasn't enough, so... I sand, I took my X-Acto and cut that little slot out into this other chamber, took the, took the lid off, and now this all fits in here, and the lid can go on like it did previously. And bam. So now I've got three lipos, one 2000 and two 2200. So this thing can run for a long time. They charge quick. Um, I don't know. It worked out. I kind of thought that these would be close to the same size as the stock, and they are. But I just had to make a little modification to make these fit. I'm cool with it. So. That's all that matters. So let's take this 330D outside and see how it does.
so there it is guys uh let me know in the comments what you think much more capable than its little plastic counterpart um let me know also if you like this style of video a little different format talk about the talk about the vehicle on the bench then get it outside and see how it performs um let me know if you like that style of video or what what part of the RC hobby uh, are you into. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Diecast Masters Cat 330DL all-metal excavator. We'll see you in the next one.